Don't change the subject. I... No aide in his right mind would let his commanding officer sign anything like this. That proves to me that you're stupid. You're incompetent. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I'll be with you in a minute. I... What do you want? Wow, wow. What is that? Wow. Ensign Kwasniak, Eugene J. Reporting for special assignment, sir. If you want, I'll come back. Oh, for the love. This is a naval officer? Oh. Why, you look like a draft board reject. A Japanese draft board. Why don't let these glasses fool you? I'm one of us. Oh, I doubt that. I doubt that very much. Something tells me this war is going worse than they're letting on. Listen, you are an absolute disgrace. Now, you are still supposed to be standing at attention. Now, snap too. Shoulders back, chest out. Come on, suck that gut in, suck it in. Uh, when I say suck that gut hey! I would dare you man handle this magnificent specimen of a Ma naval officer. What's the matter with you? But, sir, you just said that he was one of the lot. Uh, can you tell me, uh, are you really an electronics expert? I mean, can you really do the things that it says you can do in here? Captain. When a man stands number one in his class at MIT, you must assume that he knows more than a few cheers and how to swallow goldfish. <laughs> how to swallow goldfish. <laughs> That's cute, how to swallow. Yeah. Uh, 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 tell me, uh, assuming this uh, theory works. But it's no theory. I can make a PT boat operate by remote control. That is a scientific fact. Well, a, a boat such as that, it uh, wouldn't need a crew, would it? Or a... Uh... Commander? Absolutely nobody. You might just as well ship them out. Now, do you have a boat I can use for the test? Oh, do I have a boat that you can use? Oh, do I? You're gonna love this boat. I didn't think I was gonna like you, but you're a nice man. <laughs> You stay here and keep an eye out for Binghamton. All right, Skip. Hey, I'll tell you what. If I see him, I'll signal you. I'll, I'll make a noise like an owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll go over and see what I can dig up. <laughs> Just practice. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but this is off limits. No unauthorized personnel allowed aboard. Oh, that's all right, sailor. You see, this is my boat. I'm Commander McHale. Well, gee, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Commander. Uh, the captain's orders. Oh. Well, uh, what's all that electrical gear for? Well, I don't know. It belongs to Ensign Kwasniak. Uh, Kwasna who? Qu Qu Kwasniak. <laughs> now, sir, I'm just going to have to ask you to move on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, Skip, you back so soon? I've been keeping a pretty good eye on it. Lead bottom's not coming back. Uh... Uh, Skip, uh... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Now, hold, 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 you, you goofball. What are you doing snooping around here now? Start talking. Where's McHale? Well, wait, just kidding. Okay, Keep the eye after you, Captain. Well, what seems to be the trouble, sir? Oh, there you are, McHale. Now, what are you doing snooping around here? Uh, pardon me, sir. You keep out of this. Well, then, he's off, Captain. After all, you, you can't blame me for wanting to know what's happening to my boat. I told you what is happening in your boat. It's an equipment change. Now you get back to your island and you quit nosing around here. Oh, uh, pardon me, sir. Speaking of the noses, could you not go by your bed to get or you shut <laughs> up? Now you get out of here on the double, McHale, and you take Pinocchio here with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> bye bye, sir. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry, Skip. I tried to signal you, but did you ever try to make a sound like an owl when somebody's holding your nose? Hip, hip, hip. He sounds more like a duck. <laughs> Hi, coming along, Kwasniak. Ah! 
If I have no further interruptions, I will have the master control completely set up by 0900 tomorrow as planned. Oh, good, good, good. I, I talked to Admiral Hardesty, and uh, he and his staff will be here tomorrow to watch the text. Now, this is our big chance, boy, so uh, don't goof it. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I like you. I like you. <laughs> That's all. He hates me. <laughs> and a dash of iodine really worked. <laughs> this tastes like 20-year-old scotch. <laughs> Oh, for the love of Pete. Hey, hey, you know, you know, you know, uh, here we got the trouble of all time, and you wait, balls are celebrating. Uh, hey, what'd you find out over at the main bay, Skip? Uh, nothing much, except that they got some electronic wizard by the name of uh, Anson Kwasniak, who's having a field day messing around a 73. We also found out something else. Pinkerton's got the strongest fingers in the world. If I know, it'll never be the same. He had a hold of it right here. <laughs> Sums up for sure. Well, Skip, what are we going to do? Well, I know one thing we got to do. We got to grab a hold of that boy genius Kwasniak and pump him for all he's worth. Yeah, but Pinkerton's got a guard covering him like a shadow. I know, I know. That's why this calls for top-level strategy. Aha! Plan G, to be exact. Oh, oh, no, 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 Come on, line up. Let's see the legs. Let's see the legs. Come on, come on. Come on up with us. Come on. Food's not you. Here. You call that a leg? Thanks. Never in a million years. Too muscular. Tinker, looks like you're it, boy. Oh, not me. Why is it always me? Help! Help! Oh, please, come quickly. Please. There's a prowler in the nurse's quarters. Oh, gee, gee, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't. I'm, I'm on guard duty. Oh, please help. The nurses are so frightened. They were just getting out of their oh, uniforms. Oh, an emergency. Yes. Well, come, I'll come. Follow oh, me. I'll never forget you for this. You're going to get a promotion. <laughs> it's a <laughs> What are you men doing here? <laughs> Captain Bingham said I wouldn't be interrupted. It's all, it's all right, it's all right, Ensign. You see, I'm, I'm Commander McHale, and then this is Ensign Parker. We're from the 73, the boat you're working on. And we have been a little bit concerned, you see. Well, but now, you see, um, Ensign, as a, a captain of the 73, uh, you can't blame me for being curious about the work that you're doing. So, <laughs> sorry, but this is top secret. Captain Bingham said I shouldn't be interrupted. Well, now, isn't that just like the captain? <laughs> Always worried about that, that, that kind of security and technical stuff. <laughs> Say, Chuck, doesn't this kind of remind you of that gizmo that we captured uh, a little while ago from the Nips? You know, kind of complicated and all? It does. I mean, it does, it does, of course it does. Well, yeah, but cute little gizmo, about that high. Yeah. yeah, yeah, only we can't get it to do anything, you know? We thought maybe if you took a look at it... Uh... Hey, I've always wanted to see some Japanese equipment. Yeah? You know? I don't get very close to the war. Darn them. Those nips are sneaky, you know. Oh, I don't mean the nips. I mean the Pentagon. They never let me go near the front lines. Oh, if I ever got in combat, I could be a tiger. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That just gives you an idea. It does. <clears throat> yeah, I'll bet you're the fastest screwdriver in the West. <laughs> I'm getting like him. Yeah? <laughs> I say, if you want to take a look at that machine, come on, we better get going. Oh, uh, but what if Captain Bingham comes to see me and finds that I'm not at my job? Well, he'll be very don't upset. Don't worry, I mean, don't worry, to... don't worry. <laughs> Mr. Parker will come up for you. Oh, sure, why, if he shows up, I... Hey, wait a minute, if he shows up. Shh, shh, now, easy does it, easy. If old Ed Bottom comes, you just don't open the door. Make believe you're asleep. Come on, let's get out. Oh, my transmitter. I can't let this out of my sight. Take it, Quaz. Take it, boy. <laughs> Quaz. Gee, no one's ever called me that before. <laughs> oh, I bought the machine. You think it's some kind of a secret device or something? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, we can't figure it out. What's it supposed to do? Oh, yeah, the machine. <laughs> well, it's really quite primitive. Through an evaporation process, a liquid base condenses here and gravitates through this coil to a central dissemination duct here. Well, I do declare. In plain language, it's a still. Huh? Oh, still? No. It... Beg pardon, sir. But do you mean this device makes alcoholic beverages? <laughs> what do you say? Well. Oh, tell me, Quas, do you think you get it, get it to work? I mean, it's just a, it's a secret uh, a scientific experiment. <laughs> well, well, it's mere child's play. Uh -huh. 
All I have to do is improvise a heat induction coil, wrap it around this copper tubing, uh -huh. attach it to my transmitter, thus triggering the distillative processes. Wow, how about that? Is he terrific? No, 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 no that's pretty complicated for us layman quads. Yeah. Really? There must be an easier way to heat up this rig. I mean, uh, still. Oh, yeah, yeah there, there must be. Mm, heat, 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 heat. We've got to have heat. Yeah, heat we've Come on, have. guys. Think. I've got it. A fire. <laughs> All we need is a simple fire. Oh, 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 you're beautiful. Oh. Bring in the fire, boys. Oh, oh boy, the skip's back. Thank goodness. I'm beginning to worry. Ah, Quasi, what's going on in there? Open up. Please, Captain Bingham. Ready, Mr. Kidnapped him, right? <laughs> no, sir, no, sir. They, they, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. <laughs> You're going with me. We're going over to that kidnapper's lair they call McHale's Island. If he's there, you're going to sit this war out in an electric chair. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Quaz, old pal, old buddy. Drink up. Oh, boy, you oh, are kind of egghead. <laughs> Bet you'd even let the old tiger. Go with the combat with you. In the combat? Oh, sure, any time. Oh, Except, uh, kill. you forget one thing. We don't have a boat, remember? That's right. Stupid electric rismo. <laughs> Stupid remote control. What, what'd you say? Did, did you say remote control? Is that what you're putting on the 73? Yes, sir. This stupid box. We're gonna put all us fighting men out of jobs. <laughs> out of jobs. Uh, about this remote control, uh, it doesn't work, does it? Say it doesn't work. I'll say it, but I'll be telling a big fib. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> Well, a little electric power from the radio. Oh, the radio. The radio. Yeah. Now, come on over here. Here, here we I'll go. I'll show it to you. Yeah. I'll prove it. Okay. okay. It's okay. a show very us. good instrument. Okay. And buddy. I can prove that. Now, first, you got to be very careful. Very you got to set the frequency. Frequency. Now, we set the frequency. <laughs> All right, sailor. Cast off those lines on the double. Parker. Yeah, you'll start those engines without permission. Well, I didn't touch it, sir. I was well, looking no hands. Through <laughs> the two guys. It's all a head full. Now you're actually running the 73? Absolutely, positively. <laughs> wow. Now I'll make the guns go boom, boom. Beautiful, you're gorgeous. Look at 
chips in your wheel. <laughs> I didn't know a boot could hate somebody. I am a friend. I am a friend. <laughs> and a left rudder boop de doo. And a right rudder boop de doo. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, I ain't mean it. I'll never say a word against the 73 again. Well, I know you hate the captain, but what do you got against me? I'm your ensign. I'm your ensign. <laughs> Peas, porridge, half speed. Peas, porridge, full speed. Peas, porridge, half speed. Skip, he can't be running the 73. He's got to be pulling our leg. It's just not possible. Okay, Quash, you can cut it off now. We, we've seen enough. But, but I haven't gotten it up to the dock yet. What are you talking about? What dock? What dock? Dock. Hey, Skip, look! What? Well, it's the 73, and it's, it's pulling in. There's nobody on it. <laughs> Oh, he actually brought it in. That thing really works. Hey, hey, hey! Mm -hmm. Hey, did it! I guess my old bitch works. Yeah, that's exactly what's gonna cook our goose, too. <laughs> you can say that again, Mikhail. <laughs> Well, looks like this is the end of the line. Yeah. In another half hour, the old 73 goes out under her own power. And out we go under our own power. That creek Binghamton will spread us out over the whole South Pacific. I guess you guys better turn around. I'd hate to have you see an ensign cry. <laughs> Gun it. I don't know about you guys, but by golly, we're not going to give up without a fight. Well, what can we do, Skip? Well, Skip, you think there's some way out of this mess? Oh, I don't know. But I've been thinking. Say, Willie. Didn't Quaz say that he was transmitting those remote control signals on, on 112 kilocycles? 112, that's right, Skip. Uh, well, what if somebody was to transmit on the exact same frequency? Wouldn't that tend to jam up his remote control signals to the 73? Yeah, it sure would. Skip, that's beautiful. We get out of this jam by jamming. <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. I'll jam up that radio. Uh, uh, <clears throat> We don't have a radio. Hey, the operator here on Mainside's a buddy of mine. If I could only get to him, maybe he'd let me at the equipment. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to hear, boy. Now tell me. Tell me if I'm wrong. Look, when the guards come, Willie, you hide in that locker. The rest of us will take the duffel and off. Hip, hip, ho, hip, 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 ho. Detail, ho, ho, hip, lift, hey. Well, we're just about set, Admiral. Um, I've worked out quite a test here today. I'm going to put the 73 through every maneuver in the book by remote control. And then for the big finish, I'm going to... Uh... Binghamton, you keep saying I. I recall sending an Ensign Kwasniak to run this thing. <laughs> I, oh, did I say I? Oh, no, I, I meant me. Uh, we. <laughs> Kwasniak's been quite a help. Oh, quite a help, yes. yes. In fact, I better see how he's getting along. Would you excuse me, sir? Only real friends I ever had, and I'm getting them shipped out. They called me Quaz. Nobody ever called me Quaz. It was always Quaznyak. Quaznyak. Always Quaznyak. What are you mumbling about? Are you ready? The Admiral's waiting. I wish I was dead. Stop that kind of talk. You stop it right away and get on with this test. And nothing better go wrong, you read me? Nothing. Don't make me nervous. <laughs> Uh, we'll go at exactly 0900 hours, Admiral. Uh, four, three, two, one, zero. All ahead, full. There goes the old 73 again, out on her own. Gonna make you feel unwanted. He doesn't make that radio shack work on us. Well, he'll make it. He'll make it. He just got to make it. Isn't that wonderful, Admiral? Isn't that wonderful? Look how smoothly she's running. That was no crew. No Mikhail. No crew. Will you belay that, Binghamton? I'm trying to watch this test. <laughs> oh, Admiral. Admiral. Here comes the target play now. You'll really get the chance to see her in action. Start 
that jamming, Willie. Come on, Willie. Where are you, boy? on the target plane. I'm throwing the test. That monkey is throwing the test. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> What's going on there? What's wrong? Uh, I'm sorry, Ted, but there's interference on the frequency. Something's jamming it. Well, you better unjam it and fast, you nitwit. <laughs> I'm trying, sir. <laughs> The 73's heading in. The pole is coming this way. Do something, you numbskull, you dodo. Sticks and stones may break my boat. Be late, Anderson, and bring that boat under control. Aye, aye, sir. And names will never hurt. <laughs> that really is beautiful. What a job he's doing. <laughs> Stop those guns, you fool. We'll all be killed. I'm trying, I'm trying. The darn interference has turned off the frequency control. It gives you such a ear <laughs> She's attacking the base. Well, I don't blame her. Her feelings are probably hurt. Oh, Willie really? must have fled. He's going to get us all killed. Well, you can say that again. Hey, Willie, am I glad to see you? What are you doing here? I'm sorry, Skip. I couldn't get in the radio shack. There was a Yankee on duty. <laughs> then who's in with? Boy, somebody's sure doing a heck of a job of jamming. Hey, you guys keep your heads down. Go on. Holy oh, jumping. Cross, can't you stop her? I'm trying to, sir. The whole board's gone haywire. Mikhail, you stop her. She's your boat and she's trying to kill us. That's mutiny. Oh. Now look it up, sir. Jumping. Here, let's unplug her. Come on, Cross. Oh, good idea, sir. There. Responsible for this. You're trying to kill us all. Now, wait a minute, sir. It's a 73 again, Admiral. I told you that boat is a traitor. What in the places? Hey, Admiral, we're under attack. Look at that nip up. That must have been jamming my frequency. I heard they fight dirty, but this machine murder is. <laughs> Get up off the deck and do something. Admiral, uh, uh, Admiral, is it 73 hours again? Indeed it is. I never should have fooled with that thing in the first place. Come on, boys, let's scramble. Let's go. Can I have two commands? Come on, come on. Wait, I'll get something dead. Ah! Kill, kill, kill. Come on, Tiger, let's go. Gentlemen. I give you our old buddy Quaz. May he have a safe journey back to the States. <laughs> and uh, here's to his remote control gizmo. May it pass the test someday, somehow, and somewhere else. Oh, <laughs> so. Hey, folks, come on with a beer, will you? Doggone it. Come on. <laughs> Skip, look. In the places. Hey, Fooch, how'd you rig this up? Ah, you forget, Skipper san. I'm number one in class at Yokohama High. 